Hey everybody, Raymi here. Today I'm gonna to talk about how to create a podcast, but I'm gonna talk about how to self-host and create your own podcast that you have 100% control of. I've already created a video for those that are beginners and looking to create a podcast in the easiest way possible. This video is for those that wanna do it all themselves. They want control. They wanna host it themselves. You want control. You don't wanna go through any other company. You wanna host the podcast on your own website, um, and the, I'm going to show you how to submit it to Apple and do some stuff like that too. All right. So we're going to go from step one to the final. I'm going to show you exactly how to do this. So you can see up on the screen here, I've got my website. Um, and on my website, I have a bunch of podcast episodes. Each one of these is a web is a podcast. I can play it in a new window. I can download the podcast or I can click on any of these links that I've provided here, like Apple podcasts. And if someone were to click on that, they would go right to Apple and see all my podcasts in Apple. So I'm going to show you how to create this. It's not hard. Um, the initial setup is going to take, you know, not very long, but there's a few steps to it. But once you go through that initial setup, creating and uploading new podcasts is super simple. So, you know, you just have to get through that initial setup, which is not bad. All right. I'm going to show you how to do this in the most cost effective manner possible. So the first thing you need is you need your own website. So you've got to buy your own website or have your own server space. The easiest way to do that for people is to go to a website like uh, GoDaddy and or any other web host and simply pay the $30 a year for your own website. You have to have a host. All right. So once you've got your website, like this website for my podcast is teacherworld.com that I bought. Okay. So I own teacherworld.com. Um, I bought it through a, a site like Bluehost, GoDaddy, whatever. You buy it, you've got it all set up, you're ready to go. Okay, so the first thing that you're going to do is that you're going to download and install WordPress onto your site. Now, the thing about like buying a host through GoDaddy or Bluehost or any of them, they automatically create a WordPress site for you, so you don't have to do this step. Um, so you can simply, through whatever host you've bought, you're going to have to ask them, how do I install WordPress. Usually it's a click of a button. Really simple. I personally do it manually. So I go to wordpress.org. I actually download WordPress and install it myself on my server. So once you've got WordPress up and running on your website, you're ready to go. All right. Next step. We've got to actually create a podcast. So how do we do that? So we have our website. We've got WordPress installed on it and I want to create a podcast. How do I do that? I like to use a software called Audacity. Audacity is open source and it's free. So we're going to download and install Audacity. It's so easy to use. Once you have Audacity open, you're going to click this little red record button. Boom, record your podcast. You can edit it, cut and paste, all kinds of effects here. So many nice things you can do with Audacity. Really professional sound editing program. You can do so much with it. It's great. Um, you're going to save your podcast. You can save it in a few different formats. I prefer to export as MP3 because of file size. You can export as a WAV too, but I prefer to export as a, a MP3. In Audacity, if you're exporting as MP3 on the Audacity website, like when you go to export, they're going to tell you to download this plugin for Audacity called Lame. You're going to have to download and install Lame on Audacity to export as MP3. But again, really simple. It just takes a second. So you're going to export as MP3 and you've got an MP3. Once I have my MP3, I'm going to go and log into my website. I'm going to go log into my WordPress website. And I've already logged in here to make it really easy. And I'm going to go to new post. As soon as I go to new post, I'm going to say to myself, well, how do I actually make this a podcast? Like what makes it a podcast? Do I just attach an MP3 file to my blog? And you can do that. That is one way, an easy way to do it is just to attach a sound file to it. Um, but that's really not what a podcast is. A podcast needs a feed. So how are we going to do that? All right. So in order to do that, and I know I'm telling you to like install and do all this stuff. And there is, so there is this initial setup, but once you do it, it's really not bad. All right. So within WordPress, there are a bunch of plugins. I'm going to install a plugin called PowerPress. PowerPress is a free plugin created by Blueberry, who does a lot of podcasting stuff, allows you to create a podcast through WordPress. It's a really great plugin. All right. So here's how we're going to get to there. Once I'm in WordPress, I'm going to go to plugins. I'm going to click the plugin link. 
I'm going to click add new. And I'm simply going to search. I can search podcasting or anything. I'm just going to type Blueberry, B-L-U-B-R-R-Y. And you can see it already comes up. And I, I guess I can search PowerPress as well. Um, but I'm going to click just, I'm going to click install now. I've already installed it now, so I can't do it again. You're just going to click install now. Bam, you got it. Once you install now, you're going to see a little PowerPress icon. We're ready to create a podcast. There are a bunch of settings in here that you can play with, and I'll show you some of these in just a minute, but I'm going to get out of this because you don't need them for now. You don't need any settings right now. The default settings allow you to create your podcast on your website, which is what you're trying to do. I'll show you the Apple part in a second. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to posts and we're going to add a new post. All right. I'm going to give it a title, you know, like episode three. I'm going to type in what I, there's some description so that people can search and know what it's about. And then the most important part is I'm going to put a link for my podcast. How do I do that? I need to go to media and add new. Media, add new. I'm not actually going to add new because I have already done this a million times. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go to media library. All you're going to do is go to one of your podcasts and you're going to copy the link. See the link right down here? Copy link. This is the link of the episode that I've attached. I'm going to press control C and I'm going to copy it. I'm going to go back into my post. And I'll just create a new one again. And down here where it says media URL, notice there's this PowerPress. This is the podcast podcast episode. I'm going to paste my MP3 in there and click verify URL. Media successfully verified. Then I give it my title and all that stuff. And I'm going to click publish when I'm done. Once I hit click publish, a new post is going to show up like this and it's going to be a podcast and ready to go. That's it. I've created my podcast. My website now has an official podcast that I'm hosting. All right. Now, the point of the podcast between the difference between a podcast and just hosting a bunch of MP3 files is the feed, the RSS feed, right? That's what like Apple and all these other podcast sites pick up on to know when you've created a new one and people that want to subscribe. So in order to find your feed, you're going to go to PowerPress, and I'm going to click Feeds, and right here is the feed. I'm going to copy this link, because this is the link that I'm going to use to submit to Apple and Spotify and Google and all the places I want my podcast to be. I need this link. So I am going to copy this link, you know, just copy link location or just right-click copy, whatever. So you've got your feed. This is an important feature. Then what you're going to do to get it into iTunes, for example, and you'll do this for each one. iTunes, you're going to go to itunesconnect.apple.com. You do need an Apple ID if you don't have one. Another thing for you to sign up for and get. It's free. Um, but you just log in with your Apple ID and enter in your um, podcast feed. And some, they're going to ask you like a title and some stuff like that very simply so that you have an actual podcast in Apple just like this. You can add an image, just like I've added an image. Uh, but you'll have an Apple podcast. It doesn't update like in immediately, as in like seconds. It takes like a couple hours, maybe even a day or two for each podcast episode to get uploaded into iTunes. So be aware of that. Uh, but I have mine uploaded into Spotify, Google, uh, a bunch of different services. But all you need is that feed. Um, that's the important part. And usually an image and a title and a description. And then you're able to upload your podcast to anywhere. So... I have a podcast on my site now. I have a podcast in Apple and all these different places. Now it's simple. I've installed everything. I've created everything. I don't have to redo that every time I create a podcast, right? All I need to do is create the podcast in Audacity, go to new post and upload it. And I am going to have a podcast on my website. So that's how you self host a podcast. <laughs> I know I like overviewed that really quick. Um, I could spend, I'm going to, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to break down each of these steps and create a separate video on how to do each one of these steps because it's so in depth um, to make it a little easier. But this is like the overview, the granddaddy video. All right, let me just review all the steps. You have to have a website. So you got to get a host, the GoDaddy Bluehost. 
You install WordPress on the site. Most of those hosting services do it for you with a push of the button. If not, you gotta download, install WordPress on a server. That's also easy to do, but obviously the push of the button's a lot easier. Three, so we're gonna create a podcast. I use Audacity to do that. You, if you wanna export it as an MP3, you need the lame extension for Audacity. It's all free stuff, okay? Um, next step, we go into WordPress. We gotta install PowerPress plugin in WordPress, which allows us to create a podcast. We install PowerPress, again, free, easy to do. Just takes a second, click of a button. Next thing we do, we upload our podcast to WordPress, all right? We copy the URL. Once we've copied the URL, we're gonna create a new post, enter the URL, type a title, description, boom, we got a podcast. If we wanna submit our podcast to Apple or anywhere else, you got to get the feed address, go to iTunes Connect, log in, enter the feed address. You don't do that. You just do that one time to enter in the Apple or Spotify. You just do that one time and it works for the podcast for, forever. So you don't do that each time you upload an episode. That's a one-time thing. And that's it. you got your podcast and it's everywhere. In some ways, it's really simple now that I've done it and seen it and done it a bunch of times. But when you're first going through the steps, it's hard to see like what's every single thing I need to do just to create a podcast. But that's it. Thank you very much. Bye.